as in the previous program you have seen like how we can use the HTTP the built-in module of node.js similarly there may be a situation like we come across a need like we want to take some third-party modules like MongoDB, Mongoose Express that we will be using in the future videos so let's see how we can interact with the node package manager that is npm in the node applications you have the npm.js.com the official site where you will find all the packages which you can use for in your application for example if I want to get any npm package for angular.js you can make a search right here alright and you will get the relevant packages right here alright for jQuery as well you will find it alright so it contains a big repository of th having thousands of module which you can use in your node application here we will use our command prompt in order whenever I want to get some module in our application so as you see this is a path where I have created my application called my first program and inside which I want to use the package alright so before getting started in case you want to install any package or module you want to see its structure so npm is the command which we will use here for making any implementation for npm then view and then name of the module which you want to see alright so here in this example I will take underscore because of the reason like it is lightweight it will take lesser time to get installed and it has less dependencies as well alright so you may have a clearer picture so as soon as I will execute this command npm view underscore it will return me the complete structure of this and all the details of underscore module in a JSON format alright so now here you can see like as soon as I executed this command name underscore description is there all the versions which has been uh, defined so far alright here is here in the list who are the maintainers who are the authors everything is present here alright so github there's a location where you can find the uh, find the code in the github alright so everything you will get it there Dep dependencies on which modules it is particular this uh, underscore is dependent on alright so you will get the particular detail but in case if you want to go for a uh, particular property all right it will return you all the properties if in case you want to go for a particular properties you can give a name of that like versions since I want to check all the versions which has been launched so far so here it will just return you the versions property not all all right so this is how you can see the structure of any module all right now after that in case if you want to install so you will just simply say npm install underscore alright so in this particular location your underscore package will be installed let's have a look so as soon as I executed this one it will take some time to get loaded as you see the process is begun and here you will find node underscore module is a new directory we just got created alright and inside this you will find the underscore package which has been installed alright so this is how you can install any of the packages in case if you want to uninstall that rather than install you will write uninstall so this particular package would be uninstalled alright you see the module node module mo directory is no more there alright now whenever you do the installation the latest version like for now it is 1.8.3 will get installed as you see it was installed 1.8.3 alright but in case your team members are working with some older projects and you want to install some older version let's say 1.4.0 so in that case apart from the install you will have to mention the version as well like underscore at 1.4.0 alright so now when you will install this so that particular version of copy will be installed in your device alright now once you have done with the installations of all the modules you want to check what are all the modules available in your project 
so you can either write npm ls or npm list to see all the installed modules in your program so for now it's only underscore with the version 1.4.0 all right so now if you want to make your module as a reusable module all right whatever code you are doing if you want that your code should be consumed by any other user as we just did it for underscore so for doing that we'll have a command called npm in it all right so in npm in it what will happen as soon as you will start executing it it will start asking you some details that details will be written in a file called package.json which is actually important whenever you make a module just now when we started with underscore we executed a command npm view underscore which shows all the detail of the particular module similarly that particular data is also coming from the same file called package.json alright so here when you will execute this command it will start asking you some uh, details like name of your application so by default the directory name will be treated as the name of your application which should be in fully small letters alright so if you want to change you can give another name but if uh, you want to continue with the same you can just press enter this will be treated as the default value similarly the versions 1.0.0 is the default one if you want to change like 1.0.1 .1, you can change it all right description all right this is my first module or node module as per your wish all right entry point we'll leave it for now all right uh, when we'll start some advanced programming we'll see what is the entry point is all about test command i'll leave it blank git repository github if you want to create any repository of your own you can pass the url of that keywords in order to you might want to make a search for this particular module you can add as many as keywords here author all right you can give any name in the authors and uh, license all right so like ISC, MIT are some organizations which provide the license. By default, it's ISC. If you want, you can go for the MIT. All right. So just to review, these are all the details which you have entered. All right. As you, as you can see, it is all in JSON format. All right. So as soon as you say, okay, yes, this package.json file is created with all this data. All right. Now, whenever you will make any change in your application, in your mod, in your this program, the changes should be reflected in your package.json as well all right so let me open this in node.j uh, sorry notepad plus plus to see so you can see this is the all data which is written inside this package.json now in order to uh, make some changes like let's say i again want to install the package underscore all right so npm install underscore all right so it will do the installation but I want the changes should be there in package.json as well so double hyphen save as soon as you will do that it will install the uh, underscore along with it will write the data inside the package.json let's see if I will come back to this file it will say that the file has been modified yes now you see in dependencies you will get the underscore alright whenever you install any of your pack module here it brings all the dependencies with itself let's say I want to install one more package here called Express alright so let me see the Express versions first alright Express versions alright it brings a different framework called Express.js alright so this is the latest one let's say I want to install 4.10.8 so npm install Express at 4.10.5 all right so let's install this and save is already there all right so all the dependencies will be written in the package.json as well but this is a bigger module all right having a lot of dependencies inside itself as you see all these are the dependent ones all right so when you say yes you see the express is already there all right and when you will come in here in the directory underscore express are the two folders inside express you will again get a node dot node underscore modules folder 
and inside this all the dependents ha dependencies have been installed all right so whenever you will install a module all the dependencies will come automatically all right now after this if you want to uh, make the uninstallation or whatever changes you want to make once you have created the uh, package.json file make sure after every command you will be writing double hyphen save all right just to make the changes reflected there in case you want uh, like uh, you don't want to enter the details of packet.json file for now all right so what you can do you can simply create npm init hyphen f all right so it's forcefully you will be creating the package.json file so by the time you are executing the command it will not ask for the uh, details right you can go to the file and you can enter it later all right so you can try it by yourself it's a very simple thing now as once you are done with the coding all right you guys think like okay let's upgrade you all the modules to the latest versions just now as you see in the express i have used some older versions so maybe i have installed 2015 uh, modules in our application so it's very hard to check like what are the particular um, versions of all the modules so I have a small short command for that npm outdate it all right so whenever you will execute this one so it will show all the outdated versions here all right like here you see current is 4.10 wanted is this and latest is this all right so all the outdated versions would be shown I haven't specified any name all right similarly if you want to update so you see npm update all right again I will not specify the name of the package all right uh, yep just I want to make the changes save in the uh, package.json so double hyphen save and I'll say npm update so this express would be updated or whatever outdated versions are there all will be updated right and when I will execute this outdated command again I will not get anything all right so you see now I didn't get anything because nothing is outdated here now all right now uh, when I work with node.js right let's say for me all the in all the projects of node.js I use the express all right so what I'll do is rather than installing it locally I can also install it globally let's do the uninstallation of express first all right and again I will save the changes all right suppose I uninstalled it all right and now if I'll check the list npm ls you will get only underscore the reason why I did that because I wanted like whenever I work with any node module in all the projects I want to use express right express framework is very common in node.js so just for that reason what I'll do now I will install the express again all right npm install express but now in order to uh, install it globally what I'll do I'll do hyphen g or double hyphen global all right so it will be installed globally all right so let's see so here you see now when the installation took place it's not in the current location like D drive tutorials point node.js my first program no the installation is not in this particular directory rather it is in C drive users tutorials point app data roaming and in this location all right so even though if I'll go to some other module all right if suppose I'll check here it npm ls I'm not able to get the express here right so in order to see the global installation things I will add hyphen G npm list or npm ls all right now here you will see the details of express as well all right because it is installed globally all right now suppose I have some other module all right let's go to the my second program all right which is a very new one if I'll say npm ls you, you will not find anything inside because nothing is being installed so far but even though if I'll request for npm ls hyphen g to see what is globally here we'll be able to get that all right 
so this is how you can do the global installation and this is how you can treat with the npm to a basic level